Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is uh, second grade, module eight, lesson four. And in this lesson, students are gonna be using the attributes that we've been talking about to identify a whole bunch of new polygons, things like uh, rectangles, rhombuses, parallelograms, trapezoids. The, the point is they're all quadrilaterals, four-sided figures. Uh, it's not going to be important for our students to memorize exactly all of these words. Uh, we want them to experience them, these words at this point, put them on a word wall, allow your students a lot of opportunities to refer to those words. Ultimately, we do need our students to memorize these words as they move on to third and fourth grade. Uh, so, but at this point in this lesson, it's not, we don't need to drill them with the, the words. We're just going to allow our students plenty of opportunity to experience them and practice. So let's get started. So the point of this slide and all the, these problems is to really just allow our students a variety of ways to practice the various attributes. And in this case, the big key phrase is parallel. We need two parallel lines. And so, you know, it's not going to be important to be, I mean, it's not going to be necessary to be totally perfectly parallel. Just allow our students the opportunity to practice using a ruler and try and draw two parallel lines that are not the same length. So that's pretty close to parallel. I've tried to be as perfect as I could, but hey, it's not, not, um, super dramatic that we be, well, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Woo. Uh, it's not super important that we be perfect. All right. So we've got two lines. They're parallel, but they are not the same length. And by the way, you can sort of see that we're kind of making what is called a trapezoid. If we wanted to connect these edges right here, these points, we would make a trapezoid. But anyway, that's problem one. So here the big key phrase, again, we're using our ruler to draw two parallel lines, but this time we want them to be the exact same length. Well, I'm gonna cheat because I can. So here's one line, and I wanna make that, uh, I wanna duplicate that basically, because I want the exact same line, same length. Uh, so now there we go, here's my two lines that are the exact same length and they are parallel. So I could put them anywhere I want. I don't have to create what kind of looks like the beginnings of a rectangle. I can move them anywhere I want. I can make it like this, in which case now it looks like that classic parallelogram. Uh, but let's just put it back kind of there. So here we want to draw a quadrilateral so that means it's got to be a four-sided shape. So it's going to have four sides with two sets of parallel sides. So that means of the four sides, two sides, the top and the bottom are going to be parallel, and the left two sets of parallel sides. Yeah, and then the left and the right are going to be parallel. So I am going to do my best. Oh my goodness, this is going to be tough. Okay, let's see. There's one line trying to be parallel. And then um, I want to draw another one there to making it parallel. I want these two lines to try and be parallel, but I need two sets. So right now I have one set of parallel lines. So if I want to create a second set of parallel lines, let's see. There, that's pretty close, right? That's pretty close. So you could see that the red ones are parallel and you can see that the black ones are parallel. Hey, what's the name of this special quadrilateral? It's a rectangle. Now, by the way, parents and teachers, we did not have to create a rectangle. We could have uh, ended up creating a shape that has two parallel so, uh, two sets of parallel sides, in which case now we're talking, well, it doesn't really look like it, but it would be a square, right? So uh, we could have ended up creating a square. It did not have to be called a rectangle. We could have made a square, but in this case, we definitely made a rectangle. 
So here we're supposed to be drawing a quadrilateral. So parents and teachers, you see all the see all the words that are in this module. It's just please make a word wall, stick it up there, let your students refer to it frequently. So we're drawing a quadrilateral with four square corners. Now here's the big thing. I want you to, we've been avoiding using the word corner. We've been calling them angles. I'm not entirely sure why we suddenly are calling them corners. Uh, when we mean square corners, we're really talking about something that is that perfect 90 degree angle. And oftentimes we don't we don't use uh, a curvy an arc. We often use a little square like that to call it a square corner. I'm not sure why we're calling it a corner as opposed to an angle. There's nothing wrong with calling it a square angle. But anyway. There's a little, little curiosity there for you. And then the opposite sides are the same length. So we want four square corners, and we want the opposite sides being the same length. Well, guess what we're creating here? Huh. We're going to end up creating a square. Because look at this. The opposite sides are the same length. So this side and the, the top and the bottom are the same length. The left and the right are the same length. You can see that we have four square corners. One, two, three, four. And what's the name of this special quadrilateral? It's called a square. So here's that classic question, and we're beginning with second graders. Talk about increased rigor of common core. This is awesome. A square is a special rectangle. What makes it so special? Well, first off, what's a rectangle? So we, we need to remember that a rectangle is a shape that has opposite sides are parallel. So the top and the bottom are parallel, the left and the right are parallel. Um, we also need to have four right angles, or in this case, they've been calling them right corners. All right, so that's a rectangle. Now, what makes a square a special rectangle is when all four sides are equal. And so I'm not sure if I am able, can I make that smaller? Probably not. No, it's not gonna let me make it smaller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say, go scooch over here and say, all right, there, there's a square. So a square still has those four corners, those four right corners, just like a rectangle, but the key thing is that the top and the bottom and the left and the right are all the same length. And the last slide for this video, we're supposed to read this and color each quadrilateral that has four square corners and two sets of parallel sides. We're supposed to color those red. So let's color them red. So let's see, square corners. So uh, let's see, where do we see something that has four square corners? There's a square something that has four square corners. Here's something that has four square corners. This has two square corners, so that's no good. And this only, oh no, this has two square corners as well. And we want two sets of parallel sides. So four square corners and two sets of parallel sides. So that's this guy and this guy. So let's color those red, red. And then let's see, color this quadrilaterals with no square corners and no parallel sides. So something that has no square corners and no parallel sides. Well, this has no square corners, but it's it has parallel sides. This has parallel sides. This has parallel sides. This doesn't look like anything is parallel, and it doesn't look like we have any square corners. So Let's color that blue. I see parallel sides. I see parallel, 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 parallel. These guys are parallel. But here, four sides, no square corners, no parallel. So we should color that one blue. Woohoo! And then the last one, color each quadrilateral with one or more sets of parallel sides green one or more sets of parallel sides green. All right, well, let's do that. And let's underline that though. One or more sets of parallel sides green. So these guys, because the top and the bottom are parallel, and the left and the right are parallel. 
this guy, the left and the right, are parallel. This has a couple of sides parallel. This has a couple of sides parallel. This has a couple. This has a couple. No, this only had, by the way, this only had one parallel side. Uh, this has two sets of parallel sides. This only has one set of parallel. And this also only has one set of parallel. Now, by the way, we could also uh, color this one green uh, because they have one or more sets of parallel sides. So these two figures have been shaded in twice. And that wraps up second grade module eight, lesson four, using our attributes to draw a whole bunch of different quadrilaterals, things like rectangles, rhombuses, parallelograms, and trapezoids.